Okay, the, the scope of the 496 project includes a uh, total project cost of about $60 million worth of road and bridge uh, replacements and, and rehabilitation. So the main scope includes reconstruction of the freeway starting at 96 and, and ending right around where Lansing Road ties back in closer to downtown Lansing. So it's about four and a half miles of freeway. Uh, when you add in all the ramps and everything else we'll be replacing with the project, it's closer to seven and a half miles of freeway replacement. So the, the project will be a brand new reconstructed freeway when we're done. All the bridges over 496 in, this, in these limits uh, will be receiving uh, preventative maintenance work. All those bridges have been studied, inspected. Structurally, they are still sound, but they need some tender loving care to make them, uh, uh, to, to give them a longer service life. So they don't need to be reconstructed but they do need to have some barrier wall chipping, deck patching, things like this. We need to look at the joints of the bridge, th things like that that will be done as part of this project, but not totally replacing them. 496 supplies everything to downtown Lansing, from workforce to commerce. The condition of the road for everyone who uses it has been deteriorating over the last number of years. The, pro the, the original road was built in 1970, so it's 50, 50 years old, and it's, ready, it's, it's exceeded its service life. And, Right now, we are spending a lot of uh, money and, and time and labor resources just to maintain it and hold it together. Uh, this road is ready for a reconstruction. Its service life has been ready for a while, so it's time to replace it. So the, the staging of the project to maximize efficiencies in the schedule, budget, and, and most of all, safety, is to close one bound at a time while we reconstruct it. While that bound is, is closed, we will be detouring traffic to Lansing Road. So traffic that normally uses 496, when we start the project, we are going to start on eastbound 496 first, which means eastbound will be closed. Westbound traffic will maintain its, its normal lanes and normal flow, normal access to all the ramps. Eastbound, though, will be detoured to Lansing Road. Lansing Road will be a fully signed detour so that uh, people who are not used to uh, 496 or the area will be able to find their way via the signing and we also encourage everyone who knows where they're going in Lansing to find an alternate route. There's lots of other options from uh, M99, MLK to Cedar Street, M43, US 127, 69. There's a lot of other ways to get to downtown Lansing that uh, should be utilized and we, we're asking for both the public's patience as we replace this road and, and for them to uh, maybe allow for a little extra time in their schedule to get to where they're going. Like I was saying, by closing eastbound and allowing westbound traffic to flow on 496, it'll help us maximize safety by keeping the workers separate from traffic, and it'll allow us to maximize our schedule and cost as well. We'll be use, utilizing Lansing Road as our sign detour, so anyone that needs to find their way to Lansing and wants to use 496 will find their way to Lansing Road via our fully signed detour route that'll get you down 